I'm Jo from the Lurgan District Learning Centre and I'm here again with another Christmas project you can do that's not sewing. Um, I overheard Paul the Penguin here telling Scotty the dog that he liked the Christmas tree, the macrame Christmas tree. He was away to nick it so I thought do you know what I'm going to show you is how to make it. What you're going to need is two long bits of string. I've used garden twine just because it's green um, but you can use any kind of string. The thicker the thread, the bigger your macrame tree is going to be. You're going to need two lengths of rope, about 15 feet in total. The first three feet you will pin down, which I will show you with a, a smaller version. Um, you're going to pin a three foot length down and then you're, the rest of the cord you're going to work in the square knot. But I'll just show you how. I've taken out my trusty wool mat again. I'm going to use these thicker cords to show you how to do the flat knot with a square knot, um, just so it's a bit easier. The Christmas tree that I've made, I've used uh, gardening twine because it's green. But to start off with, you're going to need two bits of cord. Okay, so I've got two bits of cord here. And I have one going off to one side and one off to the other. Now you can just pin it in place. This is why I've got my wool mat. So if you've got a cork mat or anything similar, it just makes it slightly easier to start off with. And it's quite good to pin the top and the bottom. So this is a really easy knot to, to do because you take one side and you go over the top. So it looks like a Q. And then you're going to take your tail and pop it under your cords, these two that are going down, pull it all the way through and tighten, tighten right at the top. And then you're going to repeat with this side. So this one looks like a P now. So put it over the top of the cords, pull your cords up and underneath and then pull it right through and then you tighten that and then you repeat with this side so right over the top like a Q underneath the cords and pull it through And then the same, this one is like a P under the cords and put the tail through. And you will get into a rhythm, so it will get quicker and quicker. Do it one more time, like a Q over the top of the cords, and pass it under and pull that through. Can you move 
edges down if you like. The bottom place. And then like a P. So over the top of the cords and slide them underneath. Another way I quite like to do it is in front of the TV with a clipboard and once you've got something to hold on to you can pop that under there and you can just keep going. Now you've made your big long um, string all your knots. I used uh, green twine so if you use thicker stuff you'll get a bigger tree, if you use thinner stuff you'll get a smaller tree. Now this is the bit, take your time doing this. Um, I've got a wool mat down here but if you've got a cork board use that and I'd pin that into place and then it's going to be easier to make your Christmas tree shape. So you're just gonna and take your time there's no rush for this bit. You just make it as big or as small as you like it. I think I'm going to make that slightly smaller at the start. like that to hook it in place. I've gone and got a doll needle which is just a very long needle with a big eye. I've got some really thick thread here just to make it nice and stable and what I'm going to do so I'm just going to move this one out of the way slightly and I'm going to go right up the centre as much as I can through all the layers try and catch all the layers of the macrame on the bottom of these ones just so it doesn't come through. And pull it tight. Now I've got this little angel charm which I'm going to put on to the top. It's just going to hang there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back down through all of them. Just making sure you catch all the layers again. I think I'm going to 
come down this side of the trunk. But I'm going to leave a bit of a strand up here for hanging, for like a hanging loop. I'm going to go through here. The needle off. I'm going to tie these in knots just to secure it in place. Now a surgeon's knot is just like a normal knot but you go through it twice. It just makes it more secure at the bottom. You can trim these tails off. You can take these pins out. And you can open this up slightly. Okay. And then to hold that in place, I would make another knot at the top. these off. Come on Angel. Oh, this one's got made for an angel on the back of it. And there's your Christmas tree decoration. I hope you make one. If you make one, put one on the Facebook page and let's have a look. Merry Christmas everybody!